and each of us and this is the air breathe. This is the air breathe. Every breath that I take, every moment that I'm awake, Lord, come and have your way. His presence lives within you. As we have entered into an atmosphere of worship, can we stand to our feet this morning? For we are standing on holy ground. For his word says, two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. His presence is here. He surrounds you. Talk to your father. Your very words spoken. Spoken to me. Spoken. Spoken to me. To me.
Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this morning time. We want to thank you, Lord, as we're all gathered here in your presence. I just pray, Father Lord, that you would open the eyes of our understanding so we would have a deeper revelation of who you are, so we would be able to worship you in deeper spirit and in truth, O Lord. This morning, as we stand here in your presence, O Father, I pray that you help us to quicken our spirits, open our hearts out as we close our eyes and keep our eyes fixed upon you, O Lord. The week that's gone by Lord I just pray for everyone that's had heavy weeks has had a difficult week and the ones that have had a joyous week I just submit all of them into the hands Lord and I just pray Lord your word says that your burden is light your yoke is easy Lord and I pray this morning as we come into your presence help us to roll out our burdens into your presence if I may. Help us to give it all unto you so that there is rest as we stand in your presence. There is peace that comes from you in your presence, Father Lord. And I pray, Father Lord, that the people who are looking for clarity, let them find it. Let them find answers in your presence this morning. Let this not be just another ritual, Father. Let this be the time that we open up our hearts out and just commune with you. And you commune with us, Father. Help us to tune our tune our ears to listen to your voice, Lord, this morning. To hear what you've got to speak with us specifically this morning, O Lord. In everything, we give you the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we just surrender ourselves in the presence of God and we stand here this morning? This morning as we stand in his presence let everything else fade away let it fade away and it's just let the light of God shine upon us this morning fade away Till there's only you our father Lord your eyes on the Lord and just sing that out with every glory. Let everything else melt away. Let it all fade away into insignificance, into oblivion right now. And let's keep our eyes on the Lord. Fix our eyes on the Lord and our Savior right now. Please. 
Sing that together now. Shepherd of my soul, I keep your love control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I have made the choice to listen to your voice. One more time. Shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I have made the choice to listen to your voice. Wherever you may lead. I will go Be it in a quiet pasture Or by a gentle breeze The shepherd of my soul Is by my side Now should I face a mighty mountain Or a valley dark and the shepherd of my soul will be my guide. One more time. Be it in a quiet pasture or by a gentle breeze. The shepherd of my soul is by my side. Hey, should I face the mighty mountain? Or a valley dark and deep The shepherd of my soul Will be my guide Shepherd, shepherd of my soul I 
shepherd of my soul. One more time. The shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may be, I will follow. I have made the choice to listen for your voice. Wherever you may be, I will go. One more time, shepherd of my soul. Shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may be, I will follow. I have made the choice to listen for your voice. Wherever you may. I will go. Yes, Lord, this morning that is our prayer. And that is our surrender, O oh Lord. That wherever you lead us, we will go. Wherever you ask us to go, we will go. Whatever you ask us to say, we will say. Whatever you ask us to do, we will do, O oh Lord. We surrender ourselves into your holy hands. It's you who make us righteous. It's not our actions that make us righteous, Lord. It's your obedience on the cross that makes us righteous. It's the blood that you have shed, Lord, that makes us righteous. So this morning we come into your presence. Again, re-surrendering ourselves, O oh Lord. To give you all the glory. To give you all the honor, O oh Father. Be wow, to give you all the praise, O oh Father. May every action, every word, every thought manifest who you are in our lives O oh lord and to you be all the glory and honor and all god's people said amen shall we give god the glory <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah the bible said i was glad when they said amen thank you for auntie let us go into the house of the lord i was glad when they said let's go into the house of the lord this morning we're in the house of the lord how many of us are glad we're in the house of god the Bible says, even if two people are there, I am there in their midst. Even if two people. So let's just forget, shed all our inhibitions, shed all our thoughts, all our distractions. And look up on the cross and say, Lord, you're God alone. To you, I will give all the glory this morning. That's our commitment to the Lord. Amen. Shall we do that? Amen. Praise him. Amen. Just come your hands together. Come on. Come on, let's get up. Go. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of. Anything we can give by your plan, but just to wait. One more time. You are not a God's created. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan, but just to wait. Come on, lift your voice and sing. Take it together. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne. You are on your throne. You are God alone. You are God alone. So right now, right now, in the good times and days, you are on your throne. You are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. 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 From before time began, you are on your throne. You are God You are God alone. You are God alone. Let's come together. Oh, you are God alone. Come on, let's come together. Oh, you are God alone. You are God 
Let's go. You only God whose power none can contain. You the only God whose name and praise will never end. You the only God who's worthy. Everything we can hear, you are God. And just the way it is. Come on, lift your voice and declare. You are God alone.
by name, called by name, and he's on the throne. He's made his plan for us. You are on your throne. So we worship you. You are the One more time. give you the glory and all the honor of Father. We worship you. Mm, yes. You reign, let it fall on us. Let it fall, let it fall. You reign, let it fall. Yes. Let's open our hearts out. Let's soak in the presence of the Lord right now. Powered by 
by your grace, power by your grace, so free. You are there. Knowing I'm a sinful man, I'm a sinful man, yet I am covered by the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb, and now I found. Forgiven so that you can forgive. Oh. I can forgive. So here I stand. Here I stand. Knowing that I'm your desire. I'm sanctified. Fire by glory and fire, and now I found, now I found the greatest love of all is mine since you laid down your life to sacrifice. read from Psalm 103 verses 8 to 13 onwards. It says, The Lord is compassionate and He's gracious. He's slow to anger and He's abounding in love. He will not always accuse nor will He harbor His anger forever. 
He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from him. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. And that's what we were singing. Lord, your grace, your grace, Lord. Your grace has not just washed us from our sins, but our grace has made us sons of the living God, sons and daughters of Father. And the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, it says, we did not receive a spirit that makes us a slave again to fear, but we received the spirit of sonship. And it's by that spirit of sonship that we cry out. We don't say God all the time. We cry out, Abba, Father, because he's our Father. The Bible says in Ephesians, we are no longer foreigners. We are no longer aliens, but we are fellow citizens with God's people and we are members of God's household. That's what God has given us. That's what his blood has paid for. He makes us whole. It's not our works, it is His blood. It's His sacrifice that makes us whole. So we sing Majesty, Your grace is found just as I am. call unto deep speak what is true in our lives the Lord speak what is true in our lives
Should we sing that again? It's my heart, Lord. I come to your presence just as I am, Lord. Just for you to wash me again, Lord. Ask God to just speak with you right now. Is my heart, Lord? Is my heart, Lord? Is my heart, Lord? Is my heart, Lord? Yeah. What I speak was is true. You just sing that together. He's my heart, Lord. Can the church sing that together? He's my Yes, let's sing it. He's my Lord. Speak what's true. Speak what. It is true. One more time. He's my heart, Lord. He's my heart, Lord. Yes. Open your mouth out and sing. He's my heart, Lord. Speak what is true. Speak what is true. Allow the Lord to speak with you. the Lord to speak with you. I love him to speak with you. Only the presence of God can change us. And the power of God can change us. Your grace is more Where grace is found That's where you are Search for grace Where you are Lord, I am free Holiness Is Christ in One more time where sin runs deep, your grace is even more abundant. Your grace, that's what we got to search for. Search for the place of grace. Search for the place of grace.
precious name, oh God, how I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. I confess. Now in Him, I find my rest. Without You, I fall apart. Apart. You're the one that guides me. Where sin runs deep. Where sin runs deep. Your grace is more. Where grace is found. That is where that speaks of you. Where you are. Yeah. That is the only place that there is liberty. It's the only place there is freedom. True freedom. So, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour. You're my defense, Lord. You're the one who stands for me. You stand for me. You are my advocate, Lord. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Because the Bible says the devil is an accuser. Satan is an accuser. But Jesus, he's our advocate. He's a defense. He's if you would just receive it one more time, where sin runs deep. Where sin runs deep. Your grace is more. Your grace is found. That is where. Rise up into the presence of the Lord. Let those words rise up. You are my righteousness. I am not the righteousness. But my actions don't make me righteous. You are my righteousness. So let's sing as a church. Lord, I need you. Take a moment just to talk to God right now. Whatever you want to speak with Him with. Because your life is different from everyone else. So speak with Him right now. He listens. He knows the number of hair on your head. So He knows every word and every thought in your heart. 
Because the Bible says, even before you speak one word on your lips, I know it. Psalm 139 says that. Speak with him. Speak with him. He's made the whole world and the universe with the power of his word. But you and I, he created with his hands. He hasn't forgotten us. He hasn't walked away from us. The Bible says, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Bible says we're made new. He refines us through fire. The Bible says in Revelation 21, Behold, I make all things new. All things new. In, in the first chapter of the Bible, it says the earth was formless and void. And with his word, he made something new. And in the last chapter of the Bible, again, he says, I make all things new. He can make things new in your life. New in your life. He can take away your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh, the Bible says in Ezekiel. I will take away your heart of stone, give you a heart of flesh. Why is the heart important? Because it's the Bible says it's out of the heart that all issues of life flow. And He will give us the heart that we need to serve Him. He will give us the heart that we need to live. Ask Him for it. Ask Him for it. A heart filled with kindness and mercy and love. So we can love those who hate us. We can pray for those who persecute us. We can bless those who curse us. And in all of that, we can manifest who he is in our life. We can't do that on our own. Let his love fill us. Bible says when Christ dwells in our heart, truly, we will understand the height, the depth, the breadth, and the width of his love, which is beyond human understanding. And when that revelation comes, we are filled with the fullness of God. That's when we are filled with the fullness of God, when God is all inside of us. Let the revelation hit us this morning. Show us, Lord. Let our words be heard in your presence. Let our heart be tested in your presence, O oh Lord. Give us a heart that is desirable for you, Lord. We give you all the glory and the honor, all the power and the praise. Let every day of our life we lived in giving you the glory, in manifesting who you are in our lives. So we establish your kingdom, your purpose, and your will in the place that you have put us, Lord. And all God's people said, Amen, Amen, Amen. Shall we give God the glory?
May I ask all those who are seated to rise up as we declare the promises of God. With boldness, with faith, every word that we speak here is from the Bible. And so you know that God has spoken these words, so let's receive that into our hearts right now. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. For my righteousness is of the Lord. Whatever I do will prosper. For I am like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water. The Lord has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And Abraham's blessings are mine. The spirit of truth, it abides in me and teaches me all things. And he guides me into all truth. Therefore I confess, I have perfect knowledge of every situation and every circumstance that I come up against. I let the peace of God rule in my heart and I refuse to worry about anything important. I will not let the word of God depart from before my eyes. <coughs> For it is life to me. I have found it. It is health and healing to all my flesh. So can we say with boldness, God is on my side. God is in me now. Oh, who can be against me? He's given unto me all things that pertains to this life and godliness. Therefore, I'm a partaker. I'm a partaker of his divine nature. Shall we give God the glory? Yeah. Hallelujah. Before you sit down, can you just te rasseoir, can you greet, step out of your row and greet someone else? Que Welcome them to the house de ta of God. Et aller vers, euh, ton voisin, le saluer. All right. So before I just run through the announcements for the week, passer, avant de passer au communiqué de la semaine, I want to quickly ask you: Is there any newcomer, someone who's come to the church for the first time? Y a-t-il quelqu'un qui est ici pour sa première fois? You raise your hands. Peux-tu lever ta main si tu es là pour ta première fois? All old comers. All right, that's lovely. Uh, this Tuesday, ce mardi, uh, is our yet uh, session. C'est normal la rencontre des jeunes. But instead of having the normal uh, uh, our normal uh, uh, proceedings that we have in Yetz, we have a concert this evening. So everybody knows Miche. Alors, tout le monde connaît Miche. Uh, he has been preparing for this concert for a while now. So, il prêté, il pour ce so they're, they're doing that on Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Alors, ça va se passer ce mardi à, à 15 sorry, it is not 6.30 p.m. 3 p.m., sorry. It is at 3 p.m. Okay, and uh, the tickets are uh, 300 rupees. Et le frais d'entrée s'élève à 300 rupees. Uh, there are uh, a bit of expenses uh, towards this concert, and therefore they're raising money for that. Et cela, ça sera pour les dépenses qui seront faites pour uh, cet événement. So suppo- <coughs> to support that. Alors, venez supporter ce ministère. You know, just uh, even if it is, uh, uh, even if you're not able to come, it'll be good just to buy a ticket and hand it to someone else who can't afford it. Because in that, you're supporting this ministry. Okay, so that's 3 p.m. on Tuesday. Wednesday, we have our Bible study as usual at 6.30. And we make it a point to come. Um, and uh, those who are uh, interested in uh, supporting children for their education, Alors, ceux qui sont à les des enfants, can you please speak with Sister Janet at the end of the service? Alors, après le cruc, la soeur Janet. And uh, she will be there, she will find her at the reception. Elle sera justement, uh, devant la porte. And those who have already made the commitment, can you please uh, hand your money to Sister Janet? Et ceux qui sont déjà engagés, veuillez donner votre argent à la sœur Janet. For those who don't know, it's it is typically 250, or now it's gone up. Okay, now it's 
It's rupees 300 per month per child. Et ceux qui ne le savent pas, nous payons, nous donnons 300 rupees par mois euh, en raison d'un enfant. It would be nice if we can uh, support at least one child for the period of all 12 months. Ça serait merveilleux si vous supportez à la limite un enfant pour uh, trois mois. But you can give it on a monthly or, or quarterly basis. Mais tu peux le donner d'une manière mensuelle ou après quatre mois. Um, Okay, uh, so we all know that the service starts at 10.30 in the morning. Uh, but 10 to 10.30 is a time of preparation. You know, worship is not, uh, uh, 10.30 when worship, praise and worship starts, that is not warm-up time to get into the presence of God. Uh, so normally we use praise and worship as a warm-up to get into the presence of God, like in a football warm-up. Yeah. Je dis, la louange et l'adoration comme étant un échauffement avant d'entrer dans la présence de Dieu. But if you come before 10:30, mais si tu viens avant 10h30, between 10 and 10:30, entre 10h et 10h30, there are few people who, who sit around, they're praying, they're preparing themselves so that they can worship even with deeper conviction. Il y a des gens qui viennent où nous préparons en prière avant de nous plonger profondément dans l'adoration. So come before that time. Alors venez avant 10h30. Between 10 and 10:30, use that time to prepare yourself. De 10h à 10h30, prenez le temps pour vous préparer. Read the word. Méditez sur la parole de Dieu. Join us in worship. We have very soft worship happening at that time. Vous vous joignez la chorale alors qu'il chante pour les chansons d'adoration. And just use that time to center yourself into the presence of God. Et utilisez ce temps pour vous préparer dans la présence de Dieu. So at 10:30 when we begin, you're really deep in. Pour qu'à 10h30, vous soyez prêts pour commencer le culte. OK. Uh, so those were the announcements for the week. Uh, mm -hmm. I just want to remind you especially again uh, about uh, Reverend Augustin. Alors, je voudrais encore vous rappeler pour le cas du Reverend Augustin. Uh, you know, uh, he's been in and out of hospitals for the last uh, two months or so, maybe a little more than that. Comme vous le savez, il a été hospitalisé uh, les deux mois passés. And uh, so he, had, he was discharged, and now, but now his creatine levels have gone up again. It's, I think, 4.3. That's what we heard last. Il a été uh, libéré de l'hôpital et là, maintenant, uh, sa tension est au niveau 4 ou 4.2. So they had to take him back into the hospital. Alors, ils l'ont encore ramené à l'hôpital. But the Bible says the fervent prayer of the righteous avails much. Mais la Bible dit que la prière fervente d'un juste a une grande efficacité. And we are not righteous because of good things that we do. Et nous ne sommes pas justes à cause des bonnes choses que nous faisons. We are righteous because we believe in the blood of Jesus. Mais nous sommes justes parce que nous croyons uh, dans le sang de Jésus. So I urge you to pray for Reverend Augustine. Alors, je vous encourage à prier pour Reverend Augustin. If two people People agree on something. Si deux, uh, deux personnes se mettent d'accord sur quelque chose. Just two people. Seulement deux personnes. It shall be done. Cela sera fait. And so, as a church, we owe it to a minister of our church. Alors, comme une église. Uh, as a church, we owe it to the minister of our church to pray for him. Alors, comme une église, sommes c'est ce ministère pour prier pour eux. So let's keep Reverend Augustine and uh, and the entire family in uh, in prayer. Alors, prions pour Reverend Augustine et toute sa famille. It's not just Reverend Augustine, his son. Uh, has gotten into a cast and you know so that family is going through a tough time and we need to hope, uphold them in prayer. Alors il n'y a pas que lui et il y a toute sa famille qui traverse ce moment difficile alors nous allons tous prier pour eux. So at the end of the service we will pray the pastors will pray for them and we can join them together in prayer. Alors après le culte nous allons prier pour eux et ensemble nous allons le faire. But every day if be if between 8 to 8:15 even if you take just 5 minutes out of that. Mais chaque jour de 20h à 20h15. Just have a word of prayer for reverend. Nous allons euh, disposer cela pour prier pour eux. He will see the deliverance. Amen. Amen. All right. Okay, so those were the announcements for the week. Can we rise up and get ready to give our best to the Lord? Let's pray for our Hallelujah. There's no one like Jesus, amen? Hallelujah. There's no one, there's no one like No one like Jesus. There's 
worship team needs a uh, more prayer. Can you just wait? Oh. I know you're tired. Please get them some water so they don't uh, have to go out. They're very tired. Uh, before we just go into the word and before we go, um, just go into worship one more time. Avant de passer à la parole de Dieu, j'aimerais que nous puissions encore adorer It's une fois de plus. It's to welcome you to the house of God. C'est un privilège pour nous de vous accueillir dans la maison de Dieu. Today we also so honored to have our Aujourd'hui, nous sommes aussi honorés d'avoir un de nos, de Pas, nos amis. Pastor Johnson and his wife Rebecca. Pastor José et sa femme. Rachel, Rebecca. Rebecca, one of those two. Okay. <laughs> Amen. It's, Amen. And um, they, they're very close to us. Ils sont vraiment très rapprochés avec nous. And I was actually very surprised to see him today. Et j'étais aussi surpris de lui avoir I was actually I was telling him I actually was thinking of him uh, yesterday to tell him to, if he was free to come in and share the word today. Je devrais d'ailleurs lui parler pour qu'il vienne par partager la parole de Dieu aujourd'hui. And then as I was sitting in the room I saw a light passing by it was Et reflecting. J'étais dans mon chambre j'ai vu une lumière passer. And I said I only know two people who have that anointing. Alors je me suis dit que je ne connais que deux personnes qui ont cette onction. Pastor Sean and Pastor Joyce. <laughs> Et à Pasteur Sean et lui. Amen. So I just wanted to just come up and just say a few words. Alors j'aimerais qu'il puisse avancer et parler quelques mots. If you can just mots. help me welcoming him. Je vais l'accueillir. It's a joy to be in your midst today. C'est une joie d'être au milieu de vous aujourd'hui. Uh, it's my first time. Uh, we've had a long-standing relationship with Pastor Pinto. And his family for many, many years. C'est ma première fois d'être ici alors que nous avons une relation très rapprochée du qui dure d'ailleurs beaucoup de temps avec le pasteur. So, uh, I, I thought this week I'll give my wife a break and take her to an English church. 
Je me suis dit qu'aujourd'hui, je vais amener ma femme à une église où l'on parle anglais. We, we are a Tamil church. Nous, nous venons d'une église où l'on parle le tamil. And half the time, she doesn't know what's happening in service. Jusque là, elle ne, elle ne comprend rien de tout ce qui se passe. So today, I had a bunch of guest speakers. So I said, today is the day we will go attend an English church. Alors je dis, aujourd'hui, nous allons aller dans une église où l'on parle anglais. And it's the Lord who brought us, and we're just enjoying being in your midst today. Et je crois que c'est le Seigneur qui nous a attiré en ces lieux, et nous sommes contents d'être au milieu de vous. Thank you for having us. Merci de nous accueillir. And God bless you. Et que Dieu vous bénisse. Amen. Pastor Joyson's father is Pastor Dina Dinan, who is uh, one of the, the senior pastors of the city. Son, pape, son père est un grand pasteur ici dans la ville. I was waiting for you to say the word. Okay. Amen. And he and uh, my father were also very good friends. Et lui et mon père aussi étaient de grands amis. So, de we, just, amis. so we thank God for this. Alors for nous this remercions day. les Seigneurs pour ceci. We also have our pastor Raju from Andhra. Nous avons aussi le pasteur Raju. He's the, he's the pastor who looks after the Hyderabad and the Visha, Vijay, Vishakapatnam. Huh? Vijay Vardha, one of the V's. Rachel, Rebecca, Vijay Vardha, Vishakapatnam is the same thing. Can you just stand, Pastor Raju? We just want to appreciate you. Amen. Hallelujah. So before we go into the word of God this morning, so before we go into the word of God this morning, alors avant de passer à la parole de Dieu ce matin, like j'aimerais que vous vous teniez debout et que nous adorions ensemble want, le Seigneur. J'aimerais que tu élèves tes yeux vers Dieu et lui dis, Seigneur, comme je suis en ta présence, parle-moi. J'aimerais entendre ta voix aujourd'hui. Merci, Seigneur. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Ton nom soit béni. Here's my heart, Lord. Just surrender yourself in His presence and say, God, I lay my heart at the altar. Relâche-toi dans Sa présence et le dis, Seigneur, mais voici au milieu de toi. My worry, my anxiety, my fears, mes inquiétudes, mes peurs, my struggles, my suffering, my pain, mes luttes, mes souffrances et mes mes douleurs, my questions, my doubts, toutes mes questions. Lord, I lay it before you today. Seigneur, je les lâche, c'est là vers toi. Help me, Holy Spirit. Aide-moi, Saint Esprit de Dieu. Equip me in your presence, Lord. Équipe-moi dans ta présence. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jésus. Thank you for your presence. Here's my heart, Lord. Speak to me, Lord. Speak what is true. I just want to receive from you. I just want to receive from you, Lord. Here's my heart, Lord. Here's my heart, Lord. Here's my heart, Lord. Speak, Jesus. Speak what is true. Here's my heart. Here's my heart, Lord. Holy Spirit, I thank you for your presence. Here's my heart. Thank Lord. you for your presence, Jesus. Oh yes. Here's, Here's my, my heart, Lord. Speak to me, Jesus. Speak what is true. If you just like to just lift up your hands in the presence of God this morning. simplement lever vos mains. Nous sommes dans la présence de Dieu ce matin. Et le dit Seigneur. With my hands lifted up. Le main élevé. Is a sign of me surrendering to you, Lord. C'est le signe que je me donne tout à toi. I surrender in your presence. Je me donne dans ta présence. Speak your word to me this morning. Parle-moi, Seigneur. Let your word go forth, Lord. Laisse que ta parole soit Let relâchée. Let it take root in my heart. Laisse que ta parole soit enracinée dans mon cœur. And manifest in my life. Et que cela se manifeste dans ma vie. I surrender my heart to you. Je donne mon cœur à toi. I surrender my mind. Je donne mes pensées. I surrender everything about me to je you, Lord. Je donne tout ce qui me concerne. 
Do what you need to do this morning. Fais ce que tu veux faire de moi. Deal with me this morning. Fais face avec moi, Seigneur. Speak to me this morning. Parle-moi ce matin. Speak what is true. Parle-moi ta vérité. Speak what is true. Parle-moi ta vérité. Speak what is true. Parle-moi. Thank you, Jesus. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Just turn to somebody next to you and just say, Receive from God this morning. Et à la personne à côté de toi. Let him Dites speak le... to your heart. Reçois au nom de Jésus. Don't close your heart out to God. Amen. Ton cœur près de Dieu. Once again, it's a privilege to be with you this morning. Une fois de plus, c'est un privilège de vous avoir ici. I welcome you in Jesus' name. Et je vous accueille au nom de Jésus. For those that are joining us from around the world, we welcome you. Pour tous ceux qui nous suivent de l'internet, nous vous accueillons aussi. May you be blessed in His presence. Et que vous soyez bénis dans la présence de Dieu. Amen. Amen. Uh, we need to continue to pray for Reverend Augustine and his family. Nous devons continuer à prier pour le Reverend Augustin et sa famille. I know that we've been mentioning every week that between 8 p.m. to 8:15, but I really don't know how many of you are really feeling the burden to pray. C'est vrai que ça fait beaucoup de temps que nous vous annonçons que nous devons prier chaque jour de 20h à 20h15, mais je ne sais pas combien le font. But I urge you that this is the moment where the family needs you to stand in the gap and stand with them and support them. Mais je vous encourage car c'est un moment où cette famille a vraiment besoin de vous many et of, vous prier. Many of you have come forward sacrificially and given towards the cause. Beaucoup de personnes se sont sacrifiées pour cette cause. And uh, if the Lord speaks to you and I want you to continue to open your heart and say, God, Use me as an instrument of your blessing. Et si le Seigneur peut t'utiliser, dit Seigneur, utilise-moi um, comme un instrument. Next week, we'd like to take a special offering. La semaine prochaine, nous aimerions prendre une offrande très spéciale. Just towards the family. Ou pour cette famille. Uh, what I understand right now is the, that even from the last hospitalization, ce que j'ai compris, c'est que partant du premier hospitalisation, that the insurance was not able to cover because they've already exceeded it because they've been in and out of hospitals for two months. Parce qu'ils étaient, ils étaient dans l'hôpital pendant environ deux mois, ils n'ont pas pu euh, payer le, le bill. So soit not only is the the burden of the situation, but it's also the burden of finances which could really weigh down somebody. Alors vous comprenez que ce n'est pas seulement la maladie qu'il est en train de traverser, mais aussi un problème financier. So it's our duty and it's our privilege as, as, as brothers and sisters in Christ to be there to help, support, pray, and every means necessary to, Alors, to help. En tant que nos frères et des sœurs, il est de notre devoir et notre privilège de nous, a- de nous aider les uns les autres. Amen. Amen. So spend this time this week in prayer and whatever God places on your heart to be a blessing, I believe that as you sow into their life, that God will continue to open the floodgates in your life. Pendant que nous serons en prière pour eux cette semaine, c'est que tout ce que le Seigneur peut mettre dans ton cœur pour que tu puisses s'aimer, faites cela et je pense que tu seras béni. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, if you can quickly turn with me to the book of Genesis and chapter 25. Si nous voulons ouvrir nos Bibles dans le livre de Genèse, chapitre 25. And verses 29 downwards, when you're there, shout Amen. À partir du verset 25, en descendant, si vous y êtes, dites Amen. Genesis chapter 26, it's not a very difficult book to find. It's the first book of the Bible. Amen. You found it? Okay, good. If you're there, shout amen. Genesis chapter 25. Genesis chapter 25. Genesis 26. If you found 26, it's very easy to find 25. That's, that's what I was trying to do. So 25... Genèse chapitre 25, verset 29. And I'm just going to read from verses 29 downwards. On va commencer à partir du verset 25, 29. Now Jacob cooked a stew, and Esau came in from the field, and he was weary. And Esau said to Jacob, Please feed me with that same red stew, for I am weary. Therefore his name was called Edom. But Jacob said, Sell me your birthright as of this day. And Esau said, Look, I am about to die. So what is this birthright to me? Then Jacob said, Swear to me as of this day. So he swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. And Jacob gave Esau bread and stew of lentils. Then he ate and drank, arose and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. I'm going to read uh, that last verse again. Je vais relire le dernier verset. So Jacob gave Esau bread and stew of lentils. 
Alors Jacob donna à Esaü du pain et du potage de lentilles. Then he ate, drank, rose, and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Il mangea et bit et puis se leva et s'en alla. Okay. Now most of you probably would be familiar with this portion of scripture. Peut-être que beaucoup de personnes vous connaissez déjà ce verset. And uh, but I just want to deal with this a little bit today. Alors j'aimerais aussi le partager aujourd'hui. And I believe that God will speak to you in levels and in areas that that you are searching. Et je pense que le Seigneur va vous parler selon les différents domaines ou soit différents niveaux dont vous cherchez. This is the scenario now that Jacob is tricked his brother not actually tricked because it was a very open thing but basically got his brother to sell his birthright. Et ça c'est 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 une scène où Jacob est en train de demander à son frère de pouvoir lui faire vendre son droit d'aînesse. So let us just understand what is what is this birthright? Alors essayons de comprendre ce quoi exactement le droit d'aînesse. According to the custom that the first born Selon la tradition, c'est que le premier né gets the birthright. Doit recevoir le droit d'aînesse. The advantage of the birthright et l'avantage de ce droit d'aînesse is that the first born gets a double portion of all the wealth, all the 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 wealth yes c'est que le premier né doit recevoir le double de toutes les richesses oh, the property the cattle and the servants and everything so he gets a double portion over all the others en tant que premier né tu es censé recevoir le double the, de tout the cela the second thing is that when the father is not there then the role of the priest now lies on the elder son et le deuxième avantage c'est que lorsque le papa n'est pas là c'est lui qui est censé jouer le rôle du sacerdoce c'est le premier né. Another advantage is now he gets all the judicial power of his father. C'est, cela veut dire qu'il a maintenant le, la puissance ou soit l'autorité qu'avait son père. So basically it's it's a it's a it's a position of power. Alors basiquement c'est une puissance c'est une position so de it, la puissance. It's not a small matter when we read he gave up his birthday so yeah I gave up his birthright so what is the big deal? Alors ce n'est pas quelque chose de facile à pouvoir dire je te donne mon droit de naissance et ça se fait aisément comme ça. But it's a very very big deal according to the Jewish customs because that birthright had had authority over the property over the over the money over all the possessions Alors selon la tradition juive c'est cet acte est vraiment très puissant parce que ça vous donne de l'autorité sur tout sauf rien Now I just want to talk about Jacob and Esau just a little bit Alors j'aimerais parler de Jacob tout d'abord Jacob avant and, de parler d'Isaïe Jacob and Esau are the sons twin brothers and the sons of Isaac Jacob et Esaü étaient deux fils de de, de, de de Jacob Now this is a great family line Isaac plutôt great family line c'est une c'est une grande lignée great family lineage c'est une grande lignée de famille it comes from a, a line of rich ancestors c'est, ça ça pro, ça provient d'une lignée de des ancêtres plus riches a, a, a line where blessing has been passed on from generation to generation une lignée où la bénédiction est en train de se faire changer d'une génération à une have, autre you don't have to go too far for you to find abraham tu n'es pas censé aller très loin pour retrouver abraham the grandfather qui était leur grand grand père And everybody knows about Abraham. Et tout le monde connaît qui est Abraham. He's called the father of faith. Il est appelé le père de la foi. He's called a friend of God. Il est appelé le, le l'ami de you Dieu. You know the song that was I am a friend of God. That's Abraham. Le chant que vous que vous que vous chantez c'est celui-là. He was le, close Dieu, to God. Abraham. Il était près proche très proche de Dieu. And then the promised Isaac. Et le promesse d'Isaac. Inherited all of Abraham's wealth. Isaac a, 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 a hérité toute la, la richesse d'Abraham. The heir to the promise of God. Qui, qui était une bénédiction we, de Dieu. We know the stories of Isaac that he sowed in the land of at the time of famine and he reaped a hundredfold. Nous connaissons l'histoire d'Isaac c'est qu'il a planté dans le, dans le moment de la sécheresse il a il, 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 il a fait une grande moisson. This family is a family of reputation. Alors sa famille c'est une famille avec Because une grande renommée. Because God even announces himself that I am the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Parce que Dieu lui-même se dit qu'il est le Dieu d'Isaac, le Dieu d'Abraham. Everybody knows this family, family tout of influence monde, and power. Tout le monde connaît cette famille avec sa puissance et son influence. But we can get lost in all the greatness of the in, in the heritage of this family. Mais nous pouvons nous perdre dans tout cet héritage. And we can miss sometimes these small little things that have crept in. Et nous pouvons peut-être perdre quelque chose qui semblait être très de très important. Small little issues that have crept in in the family line. Quelque chose de trop petit. But all the inheritance also came some of the issues. Et qui peut causer tout qui peut causer beaucoup de problèmes à cause de cet héritage. Esau was a strong guy. Esau était un grand homme. He was a man. Il était un homme. He was he used to go on the field, kill stuff, hunt 
farm, do all of that stuff. Il allait faire la chasse et le cultiver, il faisait tout sauf rien. A hard worker. Un, 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 un travailleur. And, and his brother was basically a mama's boy. Et so, son, son petit frère était le fils à maman. The Bible even says that Isaac loved Esau and and what is Il avait yeah, dit Isaïe et mon Esaü. Rebecca loved Rebecca et mon Esaü. He was not strong like Esau. Il n'était pas aussi fort qu'Esaü. But he was witty, he was sharp, he was intellectual. Mais il était vraiment intelligent et il était intelligent. When you see Jacob and some of his traits, quand nous voyons Jacob et tout ce qu'il avait, we can see where it's coming from. Nous pouvons comprendre d'où cela venait. Because his mother, although beautiful and although called like she was, she also had some issues. Parce que sa mère, bien qu'elle était trop belle, bien qu'elle avait tout ce qu'elle pouvait avoir, mais elle avait aussi des problèmes. And often we we don't talk about issues. Mais souvent on ne parle pas de différents. Yes, she was the woman that God that God had chosen to be the wife of the heir of 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 Isaac or the wife of Isaac and the heir to the promise. C'est vrai qu'elle était une femme que Dieu lui-même avait choisi pour qu'elle soit la femme d'Isaac. But it was her craftiness and her intellect that that she was able to pour into Jacob and give him a solution where he could trick Esau. Mais c'était aussi son intelligence, c'est parce qu'elle a utilisé sa sagesse pour pouvoir pour pouvoir prendre l'héritage de Jacob. She was the mastermind behind the plan. Elle était de, le, la moteur derrière when, le plan. When Isaac was old and he couldn't see and he was calling his sons. Quand Isaac était déjà vieux et qu'il ne pouvait plus voir quand il appelait ses fils. It was the mother that told him you, you know what this is what you need to do this is how you'll trick your father for him to know that you are your brother. C'est la femme qui a utilisé son intelligence pour dire à ses enfants voilà ce que tu peux faire pour attirer ton père. Amen. Amen. And we don't have to go too far because we also see Laban who was also related to to Rebecca. Nous pouvons pas aller très loin parce que nous voyons aussi là-bas qu'il était qui avait des relations avec Laban is Jacob's uncle and, ja- and Laban also was a trickster. Et Laban aussi était un menteur comme tel. And you could see how he tricked even Jacob and 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 got him to work and then got him to marry the wrong wrong daughter and and tricked him again for another seven years. So this lies in their blood. Et nous pouvons voir comment il a, il a joué la scène en utilisant un faux mariage. Nous comprenons que ces ces ces, ces problèmes sont dans le dans leur gène. And we can see that you know further on in Jacob's story is that you can't trick a trickster and get away with that so easily. Again, please. That's a wonderful saying. <laughs> You can't trick a trickster. Tu ne peux pas voler un voleur. And get away. Et t'enfuir facilement. Because we've seen how Jacob repaid all that that Laban had done and and took his wealth. Parce que nous pouvons voir comment Jacob a pu réparer tout cela et Laban a pris tout ses So let's not get too carried away by the great inheritance of this family and miss some things. Alors ne ne nous nous focalisons pas sur cet héritage qu'avait cette famille et perdre quelque chose because everybody carries something something parce que chaque personne a au moins quelque chose which we pass on some of the flaws that we pass on which is not too very evident to the outside but we pass on in generations quelque chose erreur qui n'est qui n'est pas peut-être vu de tout le monde mais qui nous en qui ronge nos viscères and when you take the time to spend time to notice and to and to look at and to observe is when you actually start seeing it Ce n'est que quand tu prends le temps pour voir bien observer cela que tu peux bien voir. It's never straight up in your face. Peut-être que ce n'est pas aussi visible à l'œil nu. No resume will ever contain the flaws of somebody. Aucun résumé ne peut et contenir when you're le, applying, le, les erreurs de quelqu'un. When quelques. you're applying for the job, you'll say I'm skilled, I have this qualification, I have this certificate, I worked here, I did that, I did all of that stuff. Quand tu vas à un entretien d'embauche, tu as tu te dis je de la compétence, je suis fort, je suis comme ça, je dis et suis expérimenté. But it never but it never says I'm also this honest. Mais jamais tu ne dis je 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 I'm, je I'm je never suis punctual. I take leaves constantly. Pardon? Not punctual. Je ne suis pas ponctuel. I hate working with people. I hate working. Je n'aime pas travailler, je n'aime pas travailler avec I, les I gens. I was dishonest and I got fired from my last job. You'll never see that on a resume. Tu ne peux pas dire tout ce que tu as eu à endurer dans ton précédent travail. And cracks and flaws are even not even seen while you're dating somebody. Cracks. Certains défauts ne sont pas vus lorsque tu es en train de, de draguer une personne. You know what I mean, right? Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm cute, I'm fun. I'm cute, I'm f- bro, stop thinking of her. Just listen to the word. I'm cute, I'm fun. Tu es cupide, je 
pray for him. Oh, I touched I touched a nerve. Okay. <laughs> I'm cute. Just repeat. Bro. You'll be fine. Don't look. Just repeat. I'm fun. <laughs> Je suis amusant. And I can cook. Je peux préparer. But I won't tell you that I'm possessive and demanding. Alors je ne veux pas te dire que je suis que je and, suis le, que je suis matérialiste. And I will dry up your bank account even before the end of the month. Et je peux sécher ton compte bancaire même à la fin, avant la fin du mois. Brothers never say that yes you know I'm talented. Le frère jamais ne dit que je suis talentueux. I'm I'm hard working I got biceps and triceps and six packs. Je travaille dur j'ai tous j'ai une bonne corpulence. I got money honey. J'ai de l'argent chérie. But I'll beat you up. Mais je vais te taper. Like I did the other three women in my Comme life. Fait déjà avec mes I trois will ex. use you and I will abuse you. Je vais tu, ta, je vais and I will, de toi and I will dump you when I don't need you. Et puis je vais te jeter. No one ever says that. Personne ne l'a jamais fait. But we all carry this little something. Mais nous avons tous ces you know, it reminds me of the time where Jesus was at his last supper. Alors je, cela me rappelle uh, au moment où Jésus a, a été uh, pendant son dernier souper. And you know when he was when he was in the last supper, he said something. Quand il était sauté son dernier il a dit quelque chose. One of you is the devil. Quelqu'un d'entre vous est un démon. And we know Judas, we know Judas, we know what he did and what he says et and all of that. Nous connaissons Judas et nous connaissons tout ce qu'il a But fait. What got my attention? Mais ce qui a attiré mon attention. Was not what Judas said. Ce n'est pas ce que Judas a fait. But the, all the other eleven said, is it I? Mais c'est que les autres ont posé des questions pour savoir est-ce que c'est moi? Because everybody knows that something in them is a little off. Parce que chaque personne se connaît que d'une part, j'ai des we, erreurs. We all have a little something in us. Nous avons toujours quelque chose au dedans de nous. Amen. But it's in time and situation that has its way of bringing that out in us. Mais c'est avec le moment que nous pouvons découvrir cela. So avec Esau le temps. comes back from the field and he's tired and he's hungry. Alors Esau rentre de son champ, il était très fatigué. And the Bible says he sees his brother making soup. Et il, dit, il, il vit son frère, son frère en train de préparer une soupe. And he soupe. says, give me some. Et il dit, donne-moi un And peu. Jacob says, yeah, I'll give you some, but you got to sell me your birthright. Et Jacob dit, je peux te donner facilement, mais tu dois me vendre ton droit d'aînesse. And for a momentary requirement to be satisfied to feed the flesh. Mais juste pour un moment où nous avons besoin de pouvoir plaire au corps, he, au corps humain. He gives up on a lifetime of blessing. Il a abandonné sa bénédiction. For a bowl of soup, he compromised his inheritance. À cause de la soupe, il s'est compromis à, à, à son droit d'aînesse. I don't know how many of you are here at the sound of my voice. Alors je ne sais pas combien d'ici, combien de personnes ici m'écoutent. That because of a mon, momentary satisfaction to to, to to please the flesh à cause d'un seul moment un seul instant où tu veux, tu dois plaire au corps you have forfeited your inheritance in christ en train de perdre ton héritage en christ and when you get tired and when you get hungry et quand tu es fatigué et tu as faim you don't even need a big offering tu n'as même pas besoin d'une grande offrande i don't see that jacob has prepared a buffet moi je ne vois pas ici que jacob a préparé un buffet i don't buffet. see that he has you know killed the fatted calf or he's made je ne vois pas qu'il a préparé un, un grand brebis or he's made steak or kfc or whatever you want to call it ou soit il a préparé un bon mets the guy just made a bowl of soup with lentils il a simplement fait une bonne soupe lentils that's that's like dal right spices that's like vegetables comme des lentilles ça, 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 une soupe de, de and, légumes. And something as as simple as that was enough to bait and and rob somebody of amazing inheritance. Et ces choses aussi simples que cela peut paraître étaient suffisantes pour pouvoir attirer ou soit faire vendre Esau la bénédiction. Esau sold his privilege for a bowl of soup. Esau a vendu son privilège à cause d'une soupe. He want he compromised. C'est compromis. He wanted to feed the now. And he starved his eternity. Il a voulu nourrir le maintenant et a perdu son éternité. now and lose focus of the future. Se nourrir maintenant et perdre his son futur. Is, whatever happens in the future, I'll deal with it at that time. Ce qui va se passer dans le futur, bon, But right que ça now, vient. I need to feed my flesh. Mais maintenant, je veux nourrir mon corps. And when you feed your flesh, et quand tu nourris ton corps, you starve your destiny. Tu vas perdre ton destiné. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. 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 When you have conviction of who you are, quand tu as la conviction de qui tu es, and where you're heading to, et où tu vas, you won't allow compromise to derail your destiny. Tu ne vas pas te compromettre. Tu ne vas pas permettre. Tu, you finished? 
today I want, what I wanted to title the message aujourd'hui j'aimerais intituler ce message was conviction over compromise la conviction sur le compromis and the church needs to understand learn it and live it today et l'église doit comprendre cela et vivre cela because in the church today what is prevalent is not conviction but compromise parce qu'à l'église aujourd'hui ce qui est pertinent c'est la c'est la compro- beaucoup de personnes se compromettent the, the church has lost its influence and its power and its strength because it's lost its conviction because it's allowed compromise l'église a perdu sa conviction parce que c'est, 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 elle s'est compromise hallelujah Amen. you got to have the pr- the principles that you're convicted by tu dois avoir des principes sur lesquels that tu as de la conviction. That you won't allow compromise to rob you off. Que tu ne vas pas permettre à te compromettre aussi facilement. It reminds me of a time that David had the opportunity to kill Saul. Et je me rappelle de, de, de moments où David avait l'opportunité de tuer Saül. And David could have killed Saul. Et David pouvait facilement tuer Saül. But his conviction was greater. Mais sa conviction était tellement grande. And he grande. said, I will not touch the Lord's anointed. Qu'il dit que je ne peux pas toucher le roi de Dieu. Most of us, when we see the opportunity, opportunity beaucoup de personnes on, on, on a beaucoup de personnes ici, on a déjà eu l'opportunité situation is so grave parce que la, notre situation est vraiment vraiment mal david could say i've been running and running and hiding in caves and living like a nomad this is my opportunity david pouvait se dire que j'ai je me suis enfui encore et toujours mais ceci est mon opportunité mon opportunité but opportunities that come so easily can can really rob you of your destiny et l'opportunité qui vient aussi si facilement peut te dérober ta destinée. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. Because the more I counsel the people, more I talk to people, the more I see this. Parce que plus je parle aux gens, plus je vois cela. The more cela. I see that issues that are derailing destinies. Plus je, je vois des choses qui sont en train de and ruiner I, les destinées. And I see that it's never a single incident. Et je comprends que ce n'est pas seulement un seul accident. It's never something that just suddenly happens. Ce n'est pas seulement quelque chose qui se passe à, à un coup d'œil. Because compromise sets in a little by little by little as se compromettre se compromettre vient petit à petit until it's got you wrapped in its glove jusqu'à ce que tu es en racine en it's cela. never a sudden thing ça ce n'est pas quelque chose qui vient facilement and when you talk to people and you counsel them you'll see that they never took the time to equip themselves et quand tu parles aux gens quand tu les conseilles tu comprends qu'ils n'ont jamais qu'ils ne prennent jamais de temps pour Réfléchis. They never took the time to strengthen themselves and to guard themselves. Ils ne prennent jamais le temps de se, de se fortifier en Dieu. They basically open themselves up to allow compromise to take its root. Mais souvent ils s'ouvrent à se compromettre aussi facilement. Because they ha- they didn't have strong enough convictions to stand by. Parce qu'ils n'ont pas la conviction aussi forte. It always starts with just a little bit. Cela commence avec une petite chose. A little bit of flirting. Une petite chose. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Une petite chose de ceci et cela. And before you can even realize it, it's got you hooked and it's got you hooked. Avant même que tu ne puisses réaliser, tu es déjà cuit. Can I speak to you this morning? Oui, je vous parle aujourd'hui. It starts with a little bit of watching. Ça commence avec un peu de regard. A few romantic scenes on TV. Un peu de choses romantiques sur la télévision. And then you start looking for movies that has just a little bit more. Et tu commences encore à rechercher de films qui a encore un peu de cela. Just giving you just a little bit more. Un peu seulement. 50 shades of grey. Un peu plus. No one saying amen there. I'm not, I'm not, I know how many of you have watched that movie. 50 shades of grey. Then he said, oh, 50 is not that bad. Maybe 60, 75 may be okay. Et il dit 50, c'est pas aussi mal, mais même peut-être 60 ou 70. And, th- and then you go for the 60 shades of gray and blue or whatever you want to call it. And then the 75. Et jusqu'à 75. And then before you realize that you're 100% stuck in pornography. Et avant que tu ne puisses même le réaliser à 100%, tu es déjà coincé dans la pornographie. It never starts directly with pornography. It always starts with a bait. Ça ne commence pas directement avec la pornographie. Tu commences avec just le petit. Just to ignite the passion of your flesh. Just a little bit. Juste pour nourrir les passions de ton de ton cœur. Just a little bit. Un peu seulement. And the more you start eating. Et plus tu manges. The more you start driven. Plus tu es en train de te coincer. A little flirting. Un peu de, de la flatterie. You're married, but you want to prove to yourself you still have it. Tu es un homme, mais tu es, tu, tu veux te prouver toi-même que tu as encore. For a few minutes, let me talk to married people. Que je puisse ma, que je puisse parler aux mariés. You still want to prove to yourself that you're still the man. Tu veux te prouver que tu es encore un homme. You still got the charm. Tu as encore de la, de, de, du charme. It starts with a little bit of, of, of jokes. Ça commence avec un peu de la flatterie. You know, not dirty jokes, clean jokes. Seulement, seulement un peu de, de la flatterie. Then a little bit of what's happening. 
et un peu de Watts. Then you have good morning messages. Et tu as encore un message de bonjour. Then you have good night messages. Et message de bonne Soon nuit. you'll have good afternoon, good evening, and all the other messages. Et par après, bon après-midi et bonsoir. Then before you know it, it's like, you know, why don't we just hang out for coffee? Let's get to talk. Et avant que tu ne puisses le réaliser, est-ce que nous pouvons sortir et prendre un peu un café? And even before you realize it. Même avant que tu ne puisses encore le réaliser. Just it started with a little bit of, a little bit of, 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 of talking. Ça commence avec un peu de, 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 de discussion, un, un, little bit de, of, of looking. De, un peu de regard, with a little bit of jokes. un peu de, 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 de blagues, with a little bit of coffee. avec un peu de, de café. And as you go the little bit and the little bit and the little bit and the little bit. Et aussi longtemps que tu avances petit à petit. It's drawn petit. you so far away from the center. Ça va t'attirer très loin de, du because centre. Because it's the center where you have access and control over your life. Parce que c'est au centre où tu as le contrôle ou soit l'accès and à ta Satan vie. And Satan will always try to draw you away. Et le diable va essayer de t'éloigner. And now you find yourself stuck in adultery. Et tu te retrouves maintenant coincé dans l'adultère. You adulter. never started with the intentions of getting involved in adultery. Tu n'as jamais commencé avec intention de t'es coincé dans l'adultère. Mais avec le petit que tu as commencé avec, c'est là que tu as amené très and loin. To find your way back home. Et tu dois retrouver ton chemin vers la maison. And some have gone so far Et il y en a d'autres qui se sont tellement éloignés that lost the way back home. Ils ont perdu même le chemin. Can I speak to the single people? Est-ce que je peux parler aux singles? All the married people say amen. Yeah. They're very few. <laughs> It starts harmlessly. Ça commence avec harmlessly. Tu vas te faire mal. With no bad intentions. Je n'ai pas beaucoup de intentions. Je n'ai pas de mauvaises intentions. You'll have to walk with me. It starts as friends. Ça commence en tant que des amis. It starts with no. Let me let me come with you to church. Ça commence avec laisse-moi euh, venir avec toi à l'église. Amen. Okay. Then it starts with a little of you know. Let's exchange numbers and let's WhatsApp. Donne-moi ton numéro et, et, et chatons sur WhatsApp. And then, and then it, it just keeps growing and growing. Et ça continue encore à avancer. Then the brother has a, a good idea. Et le frère a une bonne idée. Let's go for a late night movie. Allons voir un film. Because the tickets might be cheaper. Parce que le ticket est vraiment moins cher. And the sister says, Amen. Et la soeur dit, Amen. Oh my God. <laughs> Let, let's go for this movie. Regardez voir ce, allons voir ce film. And then, you know, because dinner and movie, which means that it's a, approximately what time now? It's around 12:30, 1:30 in the night. Le dîner et le film, c'est environ peut-être zéro heure dans la nuit. And the brother has to go and drop the sister back home because he's concerned for her safety. Et le frère maintenant est censé aller remettre la sœur à la maison parce qu'il fait tard. He's a good brother. C'est un bon frère. And then, and then the sister says, "Oh, you know, it's so late." Et la sœur dit, tu vois, il est très tard. No Ola and Uber at this time. Il n'y a pas Ola, il n'y a pas Uber. En it's going to rain now. Ça va pleuvoir maintenant. You know, why don't you just come and you can stay in the hall room, sleep on the couch? Pourquoi tu ne peux pas rester, tu vas dormir dans... Bro, you got to keep going all the way now. Sleep on the couch. Tu peux dormir dans le canapé. And before you know it. Et avant que tu ne puisses le réaliser. Every day now starts Saturday. Cha- chaque jour devient maintenant chaque jour. Amen. Amen. And before you know it. Et avant que tu ne le, le réalises. You are stuck in fornication. Tu es coincé dans la fornication. Hallelujah. Amen. And you've gone so far away from the center. Et tu t'es éloigné du centre. Where you've lost control over your life. Où tu as perdu le contrôle de sur ta vie. Lost control over your destiny. Tu as contr- perdu contrôle sur ta destinée. Just a little bit. Avec un peu seulement. And you have to fight to find a way back home. Et tu es censé te battre pour retrouver ta maison. And just like the other example, some people have gone so far away from God that they can't find the way back home. Et comme les autres exemples que j'ai donnés, il y a beaucoup d'autres personnes qui se sont éloignées de Dieu qui ne ils ont perdu le chemin. Alléluia. Amen. Let's not be fooled. Ne nous ne, ne soyons pas des insensés. With every act of sin there is consequence. Il y a un, un acte de péché qui a une conséquence. Jesus died to take away your sin, the judgment, but he never died to take away the consequence. Jésus-Christ est mort pour éloigner tes péchés, mais il est, il n'est jamais mort pour prendre tes conséquences. And I think it, it says in the book of Ecclesiastes that you know the uh, that the burden of the neck will be so heavy that the neck will break. Et il est il est écrit dans le livre d'Ecclésiaste que le, le, le fardeau du cou sera très lourd Because que ça, cela peut some briser même le cou. consequences are permanent. Parce que certaines conséquences sont permanentes. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. 
some are permanent. Certaines conséquences sont permanentes. And when you compromise on God's standards and His principles, et quand tu te compromets au principe de it Dieu, it will eventually lead you to destruction. Ça va facilement t'amener à la destruction. Hallelujah. Amen. Being a Christian is not just about going to church on a Sunday morning. Être chrétien, c'est pas seulement aller à l'église chaque dimanche. Being a committed Christian means just more than that. Être un chrétien, c'est plus que cela. It means to stand on the word than, than get lost in the world. Cela veut dire se perdre dans la parole de Dieu. It means by living by the principles of the word that governs and directs our lives. Cela veut dire vivre selon la parole et les principes qui gouvernent des dieux qui gouvernent nos vies. When, the, when Joshua took the people to the promised land and they had settled down there for some time. Lorsque Jésus a amené les gens à la terre promise et qu'ils étaient là pendant un moment. Joshua knew that the people are going to forsake and go away from God, but he said that for me and my house. We will serve the Lord. Josué savait que les gens vont s'égarer de Dieu, mais il a dit, moi et ma maison, See, because, nous continuerons à louer le I, Seigneur. I can't take a stand for you. Parce que je ne peux pas prendre ce pas pour vous. You got to be convicted by God yourself. Vous devez vous donner à Dieu vous-même. I can't force my convictions on you. Moi, je ne peux pas forcer ma conviction pour vous. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We will not compromise on the standards. Nous n'allons pas nous compromettre aux standards. We have to make that decision that we will refuse to compromise on the standards of the word. Nous devons prendre cette décision de ne pas se compromettre aux standards de la parole de Dieu. Martin Luther King said this. Martin Luther King a dit ceci. If a man has nothing in his life worth dying for, si l'homme si l'homme n'a rien dans sa vie, then he has nothing in his in his life worth living for. Il n'a rien dans si l'homme n'a rien pourquoi, pourquoi mourir dans sa you vie alors that convictions never change according to situations. Parce que vous devez comprendre que la conviction ne change jamais It selon vos change according to opinions and trends. Cela peut changer à cause des, des, des opinions. One of my convictions is that the word of God is the standard of my life. Une de mes convictions, c'est que la parole de Dieu est le standard de ma vie. This is the principal authority that governs my life. C'est le principe autoritaire qui gouverne me, ma vie. When me and my wife talk, we talk with that, you know, that divorce is not an option. It's a conviction that divorce is not an option. Moi et ma femme, nous pouvons te dire que le divorce n'est pas une conviction. Sometimes murder, but uh, divorce, I'm not sure. Peut-être l'assassinat, mais le divorce, je suis pas sûr. She's sitting there, I'm joking, of course you know that. Amen. It, We have to have a conviction that we'll bring up our children in the ways of God. Nous avons cette conviction que nous avons fait grandir nos enfants dans les voies de Dieu. And many times, you know, our kids will compare themselves to others and says, you know, their father and mother allows them to do that. My friend does this, but why not us? Parce que des fois, vous savez, nos, nos, nos enfants vont, vont essayer de s'égaler aux autres enfants en se disant que voilà, regardant leurs parents, les, 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 les poussent à faire ce, ceci, mais mes parents, non. I don't know what, what standards of life they live by, but I know what standards by we live by. And as long as you're in the house, we live by the standards laid out by God in Je our house. Je ne connais pas le standard sur lequel ils sont éduqués, mais nous, chez nous, nous avons notre standard, nous vivons selon le standard et la parole de Dieu. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. We will not do anything that will compromise our walk and our testimony and our calling. Nous ne pouvons pas faire quelque chose qui peut compromettre à notre appel ou soit notre, nos témoignages. You need to have a conviction that this is the temple of God. Nous devons avoir cette conviction que ceci est le temple de Dieu. That I will treat it honorably and respectfully. Que je dois le respecter et l'honorer. And when you have that conviction, you won't allow this body to just lie in the gutter of sin with others. Et si tu, 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 tu as cette conviction en toi, tu ne vas pas permettre à ce que ton corps puisse pécher facilement. Amen. Amen. Young people have this argument. Les jeunes hommes ont cet argument. I am an adult. Je suis un adulte. I don't need my parents' permission to tell me what I need to do. Je n'ai pas besoin que mes parents me disent ce que je suis censé faire. Can I just talk to you plainly? Est-ce que je peux vous dire ouvertement? My definition of an adult. Ma définition d'un adulte. Is when you can earn your own money. C'est ce que si tu peux, tu peux être en mesure de and pouvoir gagner pour ta propre argent. And pay for the roof above your head. Et payer pour le toit de ton maison. Pay for the maison. food that's on your table. Et payer pour la nourriture. Pay for the clothes that's on your back. Payer pour les habits, les habits que tu portes. Pay for your college fees and your school fees. Payer pour tes 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 te frais de scolarité. Where you can live by yourself without depending upon your own parents who are sacrificing Comment? every day for you. C'est quelqu'un qui veut qui est censé vivre lui-même et se suffire à tous ses besoins sans dépendre de quelqu'un d'autre. 
then you are considered an adult. Alors tu peux être considéré comme un adulte. But you can take responsibility for your life. Donc tu peux prendre maintenant la responsabilité pour ta vie. Is it okay for me to say that? Est-ce que je peux le dire encore? Age does not make you an adult. L'âge ne fait pas de toi un adulte. Maturity does. Mais la maturité le fait. And all the mature people shout amen. Et que tous les matures disent amen. Liars. And Esau gave up his birthright. Et Esau a perdu son droit d'aînesse. His inheritance for a bowl of soup. Il a perdu son héritage à cause d'une soupe. Uh, just a few things I want to pick up from 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 Esau for just a few minutes. Il y a quelque chose que j'aimerais prendre de la vie d'Esau pour quelques minutes. What led to his compromise? Qu'est-ce qui lui a poussé à se compromettre? We can see that in the word that he's been tired, he's been out there, he's been uh, he's been working for a long time. Nous pouvons le lire dans les Écritures qu'il était fatigué, il avait faim. And he's been pursuing for a long time. Et il était en train de percer, de, per, de, de percer pendant un bon moment. And when you've been moment. out there for a long time. Et il est sorti pour un moment, un running bon moment. after position, running after power, running after money, running after identity and recognition. En train de chercher l'argent, en train de chercher l'identité, la, la, l'approbation de tous. You're striving and you're pushing and you're sacrificing. Tu es en train de lutter, de, de, de te sacrifier. In the heat and in the rain. Dans le moment des sécheresses et de You're de pushing, but you got nothing. Tu es en train de, de forcer, mais tu ne trouves rien. You can get tired. Because when you see the the manifestation of your labor, then you you're, you're encouraged, you're strengthened. Parce que si je peux simplement voir la manifestation de 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 comment tu es en train de te forcer, but, tu es encouragé par ça. But Esau has been there out for a long time. He probably been hunting or farming. I don't know no idea what he what he was doing, but he came back empty. Mais Esau était là pendant un moment. Je, je sais peut-être qu'il était en train de faire la chasse, mais il est rentré empty. And when you and when you're tired and hungry, et quand tu es fatigué, et tu as faim, and weak, et tu es tu, Tu es faible. You are easily prey for deception. Facilement, tu as, tu as, tu peux être déçu. And compromise. Et tu peux te When you have no time to rest and replenish and gather your strength. Ou tu, ou tu n'as, ou quand tu n'as pas un moment de te, de te reposer et de, de te réfortifier oh, encore. But pastor, you know, time is going. I have to do. I have to do only so then I can reach the fast. Et tu dis, pasteur, je, tu vois, je n'ai plus de temps. Je dois juste censé aller vite, vite. And you can get very tired. Et tu peux facilement te fatiguer. And you got to understand that when you're tired, you become open. Et tu peux comprendre que quand tu es fatigué, tu deviens ouvert. I may not be able to reach the. I need to run. I need to work. I need to do this more. Peut-être je ne veux, je ne veux, je ne veux pas atteindre ce niveau, mais je dois travailler dur. Then you land. Courir. Then you land up exposed. Et finalement, tu es exposé. Because when you have, when you're so tired, you don't have the strength to fight anymore. Parce que quand tu es fatigué, tu n'as plus la force de combattre encore. The meaning itself for the fight is gone. Et même le, le, l'envie de te battre est partie. And when the meaning for your fight is gone, then you'll allow compromise to set in. Et si tu n'as même pas cette envie de te pouvoir de te battre, alors tu vas facilement te compromettre. I have been praying so long for this breakthrough. Ça fait beaucoup de temps que je suis en train de prier pour cette délivrance. I, I've been praying so long for this marriage, and my husband or my wife, he's not changing or she's not changing. Je suis en train de prier pour ce mariage, mais mon mari ou soit ma femme ne change pas. I've been praying so long for the ministry to grow, but it's not growing. Ça fait beaucoup de temps que je suis en train de prier pour que le ministère puisse grandir. I've been grandir, working and working pas. and working for my promotion, and each time I think that I'm in the position of my promotion, somebody else gets it. J'ai beaucoup travaillé, j'ai travaillé durement pour avoir la promotion, mais sacri- lorsque je suis au moment de pouvoir l'atteindre, c'est quelqu'un d'autre qui l'a. That I put in so much of sacrifice and and time and energy in my business, but it's it's breaking. J'ai, beaucoup, j'ai donné beaucoup de beaucoup beaucoup de mon temps, de mon énergie, mais rien ne marche. And when the meaning for your fight is gone. Et lorsque tu perds cette envie de te pouvoir te battre, you're in a position to be compromised. Tu es maintenant positionné pour te compromettre. So many people today have compromised because they've given up the will to fight. Beaucoup de personnes se sont compromis aujourd'hui parce qu'ils ont perdu leur envie de se battre. Amen. Amen. And deception has a way of positioning itself. Et la Déception a sa propre façon de se positionner. At the right time, à un bon moment, to hand you out an escape route, to hand you an escape route, pour te, pour te donner un aperçu, handing, handling you, pour te mettre dans un piège, handing you something that will satisfy you now but rob you of your destiny, pour te donner quelque chose qui va te, te satisfaire maintenant et ruiner ton ta destinée. Can I take a few minutes more? Est-ce que je peux prendre encore du temps? I got one yes and that's my mother. Praise God. 
Jesus was fasting for 40 days. Jésus Christ était là en train de jeûner pour 40 jours. And after the 40 days of fasting, then Satan comes to tempt him. Et après le 40e jour, voilà ce temps qui qui l'approche. And he tempted him first with food. Il a tenté pour la première fois Because avec when you're fasting and now you're hungry. Parce que quand tu es tu, tu gênes, tu as tu as faim. And what you're craving for is food. Et ce que tu recherches plus c'est la nourriture. That's what the la, body la, la is crying out feed me. C'est pourquoi la, le corps est en train de crier nourris-moi. Satan will never offer you something your flesh is not craving for. Satan ne peut jamais te donner quelque chose que ton cœur n'a que ton corps n'a pas besoin. Can I get an amen? If your flesh is craving for money, si ta chair est en train de rechercher l'argent, that's what he'll bait you with. C'est ce qu'il va te donner. If your flesh is craving for recognition, si ta chair est en train de chercher l'approbation, that's what he'll bait you c'est with. C'est ce qu'il va te donner. If your flesh is craving for sex, si ta chair est en train de rechercher le sexe, that's what he'll bait you with. C'est ce qu'il va t'attraper avec. He uses the bait according to the fish he's catching. Il va utiliser cela selon ce que selon le demande de ta chair. All the fish say amen. Hey, you see, they're listening, they're listening. Sometimes people are not listening, they just shout amen, hallelujah. See, now we know you're listening. And as a Christian, Et en tant que chrétien, we can get fed up. Nous pouvons nous fatiguer. Because we have not, we have tried and now we are tired. Parce qu'on a essayé, maintenant on est fatigué. But if you, if you don't understand this as a Christian, Mais si vous ne comprenez pas cela en tant that que chrétien, that we are neutered, 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 neutered in the word of God. This is our food. Ceci est notre nourriture. Where we get our strength. Où nous, nous trouvons notre force. Where we get our stability. Où nous trouvons notre stabilité. Where we get direction. Où nous trouvons notre directive. In his presence we get rest and peace. Dans sa présence on se repose et on a la paix. And some of you out there have strayed so far away from your center. Et certains sont là en, en étant éloignés de sur leur centre. Straight so far away from church and Ils from God. Ils sont très loin de, de Dieu. Straight so far away from prayer. Ils sont très loin de la prière. Straight so far away from devotion and and and, and being a blessing. Et, ils sont très loin de, de d'avoir were, la bénédiction. That you are busy building your life. Que tu es, en, tu, 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 tu es occupé à pouvoir bâtir ta vie. But forgetting your purpose. Et tu es en train de perdre ton but. It's time to come back home. C'est le moment de revenir à la maison. God is calling you out to come back home. Dieu est en train de t'appeler de ce que tu reviennes à la maison. And Esau said, I'm about to die. Et Esau s'est dit, je suis prêt à mourir. I'm about to die. Je suis prêt à mourir. See, because when you're tired and weary, Parce que quand tu, tu es fatigué, you feel it's all over. tu penses que c'est tout. And it has a way of twisting, it has a way of twisting, et ça a sa propre façon de pouvoir tordre sur ça. Your perception cela. of the truth. Cela, sa propre façon de faire tordre ta perception de la vérité. Are you with me? Because the Bible said he was weary, he was tired. The man needed some drink and he'll be okay. Parce que la Bible dit qu'il, est vrai, qu'il était vraiment fatigué, il, il était vraiment fatigué, qu'il avait besoin de quelque chose. But Esau is so tired, he said that I'm going to die. Et Esau, en étant fatigué, il se dit je veux mourir. Why hold on to the promise? Pourquoi accroche-toi encore Because my promise? situation is so hopeless. Parce que ma situation Why n'a hold on to the promise? Pourquoi je dois m'accrocher When à la I've promesse? I've been working so hard and I've got nothing in turn. Quand, je suis en, quand j'ai travaillé durement sans I rien avoir. I might as well avoir. just give it up. I might as well just give it up. Et je peux simplement me lasser Because de... I just want to survive. Parce que je veux simplement survivre. I just survivre. need to eat so that I can live. Je veux seulement vivre, manger et puis vivre. And he lost sight of who he was. Et il a perdu la vue de qui il était. He had the birthright. Il avait le droit de The naître. birthright gave him the power to demand. Le, le, le droit de naître lui donne la puissance de pouvoir he demander, ordonner. He could have said, ordonner. Jacob, serve me. No, Jacob. Jacob, serve me soup. Il pouvait dire, Jacob, serve-moi la soupe. He had the power to demand. Il avait la, le pouvoir de pouvoir ordonner. But he gave in to his situation. Mais il s'est donné dans Because he forgot the promise. Et il a perdu la promesse. And many times when you are tired. Et à maintes reprises quand tu es fatigué. And weary. Tu es fatigué. You can forget the promise. Tu peux oublier tes promesses. And compromise to your situation. Et se compromettre à ta situation. His promise is that I will make you the head and not the tail. La promesse de Dieu c'est qu'il va te faire, his, il va faire de toi la tête et non la queue. His promise says that he'll make you of the above and not the beneath. La, la Bible, la, 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 la promesse de Dieu a dit qu'il va his, te faire de la tête et non la queue. His promise says that I will be with you always. Sa promesse dit que je serai avec vous jusqu'à la fin du monde. His promise says that greater is He that is in you than He that is in the in the world. Ses promesses dit que le plus grand est celui qui est en vous que celui qui est dans ces mondes. His promise says that no weapon that is formed against you shall 
Sa promesse nous dit qu'aucune arme forgée contre vous ne prospérera. His promise says that you are my righteousness. Sa promesse, sa promesse nous dit que tu es ma justice. And but because you're so weary and tired and you've been and you've been looking for an answer, you'll run to man rather than run to your father's house. Mais parce que tu es fatigué, tu es en train de chercher la réponse. Au lieu d'aller à ton père, tu vas voir un homme. Because Isaac is still alive. Parce qu'Isaac est encore en vie. And as long as his father is still alive, the father could provide for the son. Et aussi longtemps que le père était encore en vie, le père pouvait donner but à when, son fils. But when you're tired and hungry and weary, you'll run to the nearest opportunity. Mais quand tu es fatigué, tu n'as rien, tu, pas, tu cours vers le, 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 une sécurité très proche. Can somebody shout amen on that? And instead of running to Jacob, et au lieu de fuir à, vers Jacob, he could have run to Isaac. Il pourrait aller à Isaac. And instead of you running to a man, et au lieu de fuir vers un homme, you could have run to your father. Tu pouvais aller à ton père. But you have been so tired and weary that you've given up in life and you just looked for who can help me right now. Et parce que tu es fatigué, tu t'es lassé de la vie, mais tu es en train de chercher qui peut. Who can feed me right now? Qui peut me nourrir maintenant? Who can look after me right now? Qui peut s'occuper de moi maintenant? Who can take care of me, my need right Qui now? Qui peut s'occuper de mes besoins maintenant? Because you forgot you have a father. Parce que tu as perdu que tu as tu as oublié que tu as un père. And when you forget who you are. Et quand tu oublies qui tu es. And whose you are. Et de qui tu appartiens. Compromise can set into your life. Tu peux facilement te compromettre dans ta vie. And rob you of your relationship with your father. Et tu, cela peut te, 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 te dérober la bénédiction de ton père. Can I get an amen? I don't know who I'm calling out today. Je ne sais pas à qui je suis en train de parler maintenant. But it's time to come back home. Mais c'est un moment pour toi de revenir à la maison. Don't be like Esau. Ne soyez pas comme Esaü. But he let the weariness of his flesh rob him of his destiny oh il a permis à ce que sa, le, le besoin de sa chair puisse faire en sorte qu'il puisse perdre sa destinée even as we close right now just take the hand of your neighbor and pull them up to, your, to their feet et comme on, on, on veut atterrir maintenant j'aimerais que tu tiennes la main de la personne à côté de toi literally put, take your hand of your neighbor and elève pull them up to your main, feet élève sa main and as you're doing that just turn to them and say come back home et comme tu le fais, dites-leur, reviens à la maison. Come back home. Reviens à la maison. Don't compromise your birthright. Ne te compromets pas en donnant ton droit de naissance. Just for the sake of the now, don't forsake your inheritance. Juste à cause de maintenant, du présent, ne permets pas à, 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 à ce que tu puisses perdre ton destinée. Because destiné. my God is able to do. Parce que mon Dieu est capable de faire. Just what he said he will do. Ce qu'il a dit qu'il va faire. He that has begun a good work is more than able and faithful to complete it. C'est lui qui a commencé ses bonnes œuvres en nous, il est fidèle et he, il va la complir. He has called you out, he has chosen you to his own. Il t'a appelé, il t'a choisi, il t'a élu afin que tu sois And even though you might be the one that has gone so far from the center of your life. Et même si c'est toi-même qui t'es égaré du centre de ta propre vie. His grace is reaching out to you. Sa grâce va t'atteindre. And he's saying, my son, my daughter, come back home. Je dis, mon fils, ma fille, reviens à la maison. Let me take you back to the center. Laisse-moi te ramener au centre. Where I have positioned you and I will establish you. Oh, je vais te positionner et t'établir. Because when you're at the center, you have a clear view of your life. Parce que quand tu es au centre, tu as une, une vision claire de ta you vie. You know where you're going. Tu sais où tu vas. But when you're lopsided, you lose focus of where you are. Mais quand tu es égaré, tu perds le, tu, te, tu, tu perds la vue de où tu es. And you might have been the one that has gone so far away, and then you say, God, I don't think there's hope anymore. Et peut-être toi-même tu t'es égaré et tu dis, Seigneur, je ne sais Because pas si ça va marcher. Because the Bible says encore. Esau despised his birthright. Et parce que la Bible dit qu'il a qu'il 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 a donné sa, son droit de naissance. He had the power over his destiny. Il avait la puissance sur sa destinée. But he gave it up. Mais il l'a abandonné. How many of you have walked away from your destiny? Combien ont abandonné leur destinée? How many of you have compromised because of the weakness of your flesh for that moment and you walked away from your inheritance? Combien se sont compromis à cause de la faiblesse de leur corps pour un temps particulier et se sont égarés de leur destinée? And today you despise the even breath in your body and say why should I live anymore? I have no need or reason to live and pursue anymore. Et maintenant tu minimises même le souffle de vie que tu as tu dis pourquoi je dois vivre pour pourquoi, pour quelle raison je dois vivre? 
But God is calling out back to le you. Le maintenant. He says, I have chosen you. Et te dit, je t'ai appelé. I love you. T'ai choisi, je t'aime. I want to draw you back. Je te à la I want to draw you back. Je te yes, you have messed up. C'est vrai que tu as fait ceci. But don't let the mess define who you are. Et ne permettez pas à ce que ce désordre définisse qui tu es. You are my son, you are my daughter. Tu es mon fils et tu es ma fille. And where grace, where sin abounds, grace abounds more. Et lorsque le péché abonde, le, le, la grâce est sur abond. And he just wants to hold you and pull you back to his own. Et il aimerait t'embrasser et t'y ramener. To back into the center of his will for your life. au centre de ta vie. You can choose to live your life on compromise. Tu peux choisir de vivre ta vie en te compromettant. Or you can choose to live your life on conviction. Ou soit tu peux choisir de vivre ta vie avec conviction. Conviction of who you are. La conviction de qui tu es. Conviction of his word and the standard of his word in your life. La conviction du standard de la parole de Dieu dans ta vie. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. Il est le même hier, aujourd'hui et éternellement. He has never failed and he will never fail you. Il n'a jamais échoué et il n'est For the desperateness of a moment, you might have wondered. Parce que tu, 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 tu as eu une déception pour un moment, peut-être que tu t'es posé des questions. But today you have that same moment to come back. Mais aujourd'hui tu as encore ce même moment de revenir. You have not gone too far that God can't pull you back. Tu n'es pas encore allé si loin que Dieu ne peut pas te ramener. You can never run away too far from God's love. Tu ne peux pas fuir de l'amour de Dieu. He loves you. Il t'aime. And he's calling you back to Et his own. Il t'appelle maintenant. To live by conviction of who you are. Pour que tu lives avec la conviction de qui tu es. And be what God said you will be. Et être ce que Dieu avait déclaré que tu sois. Even as you close your eyes, we want to just pray. Fermons nos yeux et prions. Because many people have been battling this guilt and this shame and this condemnation. Parce que beaucoup de personnes sont, sont, sont en train de faire face à la culpabilité. That, la... that you can say, yes God, I know I have slipped so far away. Et même tu peux te dire que c'est vrai que je suis, mais je me suis égaré très loin. Sometimes I find it difficult to find my way back home. Et des fois, tu trouves que c'est difficile que tu trouves le chemin vers la maison. But he says, don't worry, my, my son, my daughter, let me bring you back home. Et il te dit, mon fils et ma fille, ne t'inquiète de rien, laisse-moi te faire revenir à la maison. Let my love draw you. Est-ce que mon amour te ramène it à la maison? It is his love and his grace that draw you this morning to church. C'est son amour et sa grâce qui t'a amené aujourd'hui à l'église. You could have had every excuse not to be here, but he brought you here. Tu aurais, tu, tu aurais eu n'importe quelle excuse pour ne pas être ici, mais il t'a ramené quand même. You don't forfeit your inheritance for just the pleasure of now. Pour te dire, ne perds pas ta destinée à cause de ce, de, de, de ce plaisir momentané. I Je ne t'ai pas appelé pour que tu ne puisses simplement vivre, mais vivre, vivre, mais je t'ai appelé pour que tu sois un plus que vainqueur. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jésus. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe some of you have to just make that decision in your heart today. Peut-être que certains d'entre vous doivent simplement prendre cette décision dans leur cœur maintenant. I'm coming back home, Daddy. Je dois rentrer à la maison, Père. I'm coming back home, Daddy. Je rentre à la maison. I've gone so far, but I'm coming back home. Je me suis tellement éloigné, mais je veux revenir. I've given up, but I'm coming back. J'ai abandonné, mais je veux revenir. I had lost hope. J'ai perdu mon espoir. J'ai perdu ma raison de vivre et de, me, de continuer à me battre. But Daddy, today I want to come back home. Mais Père, aujourd'hui, je voudrais rentrer à la maison. Come back into your presence. Je voudrais rentrer dans ta présence. Where I will find peace, joy, happiness. Où je vais trouver ma joie et where ma I'll, paix. Where I'll find your, your presence that strengthens and equips and empowers. Où je vais trouver ta présence qui va m'équiper, me fortifier. I'm coming back home. Je vais revenir. I'm coming back home. Je rentre à la maison, Père. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I won't go back, can't go back to the way it used to be. For your presence came and changed me. I won't go back, I can't go back. To the way it used to be Before your presence came and changed Oh, 
Jesus, give me change. I won't, I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Before your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. I won't go back. I can't go back. Father, thank you for your word. Ah, merci pour ta parole. Help us to be people who live by convictions which are in response to the revelation of your revealed word. Aide-nous à être des personnes qui vivent selon la conviction qui est dans la révélation de ta parole. We stand on the revelation of your word. Nous nous tenons dans la révélation de ta parole. We live by the revelation of your word. Nous vivons selon la révélation de ta parole. It is from the revelation of your word that we get our convictions. C'est au travers de la de la révélation de ta parole où nous avons notre conviction. It's from the revelation of your word that we have the principles of our life. C'est au travers de la révélation de ta parole où nous avons les principes de nos vies. They may they serve as guardrails in our life. Qu'ils puissent vivre comme les serviteurs de Dieu dans leur vie. To keep us on the path that you've ordained. Pour nous, de, nous tenir contre. And to keep us from swerving away from what you've ordained in our life. Nous aider à ne pas nous égarer du centre de nos vies. Help us not to live by situations. Et nous à ne pas vivre selon les situations. But help us to live in response to your revelation. Mais aide nous à vivre. En, en vivant selon ta révélation. Help us to trust in the Father no matter what we're going through. Aide-nous, Seigneur, à donner notre foi en Dieu, peu importe ce que nous traversons. Help us not to sell away our destiny for a temporary, satisfactory second, Lord. Aide-nous à ne pas perdre notre destinée à cause de, de, de la satisfaction temporaire. Father, Père, give us the grace. Donne-nous la grâce. Let it not be another Sunday. Que ça soit un, pas un autre dimanche. Let it not be another message. Que ça soit pas un autre message. But let it be the day that transforms our life. Let's que ce jour soit un jour qui va transformer nos vies. Thank you for your word, Lord. Merci pour ta parole, Père. Let it seep right into our hearts. Let's que ta, cette parole soit enracinée dans nos cœurs. Help us to ponder on your word all through this week. Aide-nous à pouvoir nous enraciner dans ta parole toute cette semaine. Help us to delight in your word. Laisse-nous à nous réjouir dans ta parole. Help us to have no other idol in our life. Aide-nous à ne pas d'autre avoir un autre idole dans nos vies. That could ever, we should never even think of those things bringing a satisfaction in our life. Qui va nous amener à pouvoir penser à autre chose qui puisse nous égarer de notre satisfaction. May Yahweh be our God always. Et que Yahweh soit notre Dieu. May He be our delight. Que celui que qu'il soit celui en qui nous nous réjouissons. May He be our fullness and satisfaction. Qu'il soit notre satisfaction. That we may run to You like the deer runs to the waters. Et que nous puissions nous 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 approcher vers toi. To be satisfied by You. Pour nous satisfaire par, par toi. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Au nom de Jésus, j'en ai aussi prié. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can be seated for just a few minutes. Vous pouvez vous asseoir pour quelques minutes. God is good. Dieu est bon. Where is Corinne? Où est la sœur Corinne? Is Corinne there? Where? Corinne, can you please come down? Today is Corinne's last Sunday for a very long time. We don't know whether she'll come back soon. C'est son dernier dimanche. Ça fait longtemps qu'elle est avec nous. On ne sait pas si elle va encore revenir. So we'd like to just uh, pray for her. Nous aimerions simplement prier She's pour elle. She's been a great blessing to the church. Elle était une grande bénédiction dans cette église. A very faithful person, very faithful servant of God. Une servante de Dieu très fidèle. Has served the church. Qui a servi l'église. Prayed for so many of you. You don't even know. The, qui a prié pour plusieurs ici qui ne savent même pas. The time that she has spent on her knees for you. Le temps qu'elle a passé dans, à genoux pour prier pour vous. 
she was uh, when she came to would you like to say a few words korean no when she came to uh, india she uh, this is where she heard the gospel si en inde où elle a pris la bonne nouvelle she was saved and baptized elle a reçu le seigneur elle a été baptisée and she's on fire for god et il est en feu pour Christ. It is her passion and I think we have to pray for her. C'est sa passion et j'aimerais que nous puissions prier Even pour elle. Even as she goes back home. Que même quand elle va rentrer à la maison. Is that she her passion is to go into full time ministry? Que sa passion soit toujours d'aller dans le ministère. We will very soon have a church in Benin. Euh aussitôt nous aurons une église à Benin. Amen. Amen. So we just like to pray for her. Nous allons prier pour elle. Is that okay if we can do that? And while we do that if there's anybody celebrating the birthday this week if you can come forward we'd like to wish you as well. Et pendant qu'on est en train de prier pour elle s'il y a quelqu'un qui va célébrer son anniversaire cette semaine veut aussi avancer. So why, wherever you are if you can just stretch out your hand to my sister Alors, Corinne. Que tu sois si fait simplement lever ta main. Father we just pour la sœur Corinne. We just thank you for the mighty name of Jesus. Alléluia. For the life of this young girl who you saved her so radically and you and she's on fire for you we thank you for her life of sacrifice. We thank you for her life to serve you Lord. We pray Lord that even as she goes from this place we we look back at the years of your grace and your favor and your hand that you've had on her life and we thank you Lord that you provided her and protected for protected her against all harm and dangers and things that could have happened in her life that could have drawn her away from you. Father we just want to thank you that speak a blessing over her. We release a blessing upon her father that the blessing of this house will rest upon her that the anointing of this house will rest upon her that wherever she goes she carries your favor and your grace that will be upon her life even as she goes back home we speak lord that even as she ministers to her father and to her and to her sisters and to the extended family we pray that you will use her voice as a weapon that will bring them into salvation father lord breaking every chain and da- of darkness that has held that family we thank you that you will equip her in your presence and empower her with your word father that even as she goes back and as she seeks you for direction as she seeks you lord for the time that you're going to call her into ministry father we thank you that you will open up the right doors in her life that you will continue to use her to be a blessing in your kingdom that you will empower and equip her father lord for the ministry that you've called her to be we thank you for her sacrifice here in india even as she leaves India I thank you that she leaves this place better off than she came in father I thank you that lives have been touched because of her intercession that she stood in the gap of so many people we thank you Lord for her humility and for the sacrifice of her life and we as a family we bless her in Jesus name we pray amen amen as you meet her at the end of the service just just shed some love on her we partage amour avec elle Amen. Is there anybody celebrating the birthdays this week? Est-ce que quelqu'un qui va célébrer son anniversaire cette semaine? Anybody in the balcony know only Joel? Okay, can we wish our brother? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday As you start your feet and we're going to close right now. Et nous nous debout et on va clôturer. Is there any wedding anniversaries before we close? We just want to pray for you. Est-ce que vous célébrez son anniversaire de mariage avant de Wedding anniversaries. It's always good to check with your spouse just in case. Is it our anniversary no, right? Amen. Okay, it's not our anniversary. Praise God. Okay. Amen. We're going to close. Remember this Tuesday uh, for the concert. I don't know where is Misha. I think he's fasting and praying. I don't know where he is. Rappelez-vous le mardi pour le concert. Amen. We continue to pray for that concert and that time and we pray that God will do something amazing. Continue à prier et je pense que If Dieu va not, faire quelque oh, chose. Here. If you have not got tickets, why are you guys standing outside? Please come in, let's pray. Call those who are outside, the outstanders. Que Et toute personne qui qui est dehors puisse entrer et on va prier. Amen. Do I know the anointing overflows but you can come and we'll pray. You standing in front, praise God. Amen. We're going to pray for Michel as we close as well as he and the team prepares. 
nous allons prier pour le, le frère Michi et son équipe. May God use him to be a blessing. Que Dieu puisse l'utiliser. If you want more bénédiction. information and tickets for the concert, please contact him at the end of the service. He'll give it to you. Vous avez besoin de, de tickets, contactez-lui après le culte. Oh, amen. If you want to bless him with extra, you can do that as well. Let's pray. Father, I just thank you for Michi. Merci Seigneur, nous voulons te bénir Even pour la vie de Michi. Even as he for this for this concert, we thank you that that you will enable him strengthen him alors qu'il se prépare pour ce concert nous prions que tu puisses le fortifier and may you use him to be a voice in your kingdom et utilise lui pour qu'il soit une parole dans dans ton royaume and we thank you for his life merci pour sa vie we thank you that his talents are there to serve you and merci surrender merci pour le talent que tu as mis en lui pour te servir i thank you that you're using him for your kingdom and you lose him in greater measure merci de ce que tu vas l'utiliser dans ton royaume avec une grande mesure in jesus name we pray jesus nous avons ainsi prié now unto him that is faithful à celui qui est fidèle. May his grace and his favor, que sa grâce et son faveur, his mercy and his love, sa miséricorde et son amour continuent à être dans lead vos vies. You and you, vous guider et vous diriger. Equip you and empower you vous équipez et vous rendre puissant that he has placed pour l'appel qu'il a mis dans and votre vie. He he et que lui et lui seul receive all the glory, reçoive toute la gloire, all the honor, tout l'honneur and all the praise, et toutes les louanges. And all God's people shout. Amen. Amen. God bless you as you walk out. Que Dieu vous bénisse alors que vous sortez. Just meet someone, greet them and rencontrer quelqu'un, saluer le. We see you on Tuesday and we'll see you on Sunday. God bless you. And Wednesday. Amen. Mardi et mercredi.